Ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing the beginning of my new series. And here we have on the uh, on the floor here, we have the uh, most one of the nicest fellows I've met in the Philippines. His name is Moritz. Would you please say hello, Moritz? And what he's doing now is he's putting the eyelets in for the uh, for a sample skull and bones. We have the Bohemian Grove Owl and the Yale Skull and Bones. Uh, I am interfering with Maritz's work here. That is, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. That's the uh, hog-nosed bat, the nose of the hog-nosed bat. Okay, Maritz is feverishly at work here, so let's go back to this machine. This is a really cool machine. These are some of the words that are gonna be on the finished product. This machine is an Alwyn Eco Solvent. We are in Tagbalaran in a stall called Aldea. And Aldea makes passport photos. They make picture frames. They will take your pictures and turn them into an electronic image. They make they have a, a full studio upstairs if you want to have wedding pictures or pre-wedding pictures taken. It's, just, it's, it's magnificently clean in here. And also the staff is very, very much um, proficient at their job. This is downtown Tagbalaran. That is the Bahal Museum over there. This is the town square. Here is, uh, this is the front of the store. Aldea photo. This is the, towards this direction is the BQ Mall, uh, which you can see just the top of it from here. This is a light traffic day in Tagbalaran. These are the small stores you can get fruit and vegetables. There are hardware stores. There's an industrial supply. There's a Dunkin' Donuts right around the corner. My Buntag. Buntag. We have Rochelle Computers. They do a pretty good job here, Rochelle Computers. There's like uh, four people manning the store. Uh, just to give you an idea where we are, that's the town square over there. Uchad. Merry Christmas. Hello. Francine. I remember Francine, that's my mother's name. Uh -huh. The Guapa Francine. Uh -huh. the, the Guapo Bouchard. Phil Duard. Phil Duard, right. Yeah. Phil Duard. And I am Maut. No, you're not. Not, not Maut. This is our new OGT, Jason. You, hello? So no, Phil Duard, right, no, not Bouchard. Yeah. Bouchard works by me, my Inhapon. And you, you are Guapa and I am Panit. Uh, did you remember my name? I, I, no, I don't know you. Really? You know him you already. She's Giselle. Giselle? Yo, see him, I see him. I see him. Ha, the lady with the pesos. No, she's You not. gave me pesos. You gave me 1,000 pesos. <laughs> yes, you gave me 1,000 pesos, I gave you one haluk. <laughs> one haluk. <laughs> she gives me pesos. Where, where do I know you from? ICBM? No? Okay, I'm going to finish this video. Okay, so if you give me 1,000 pesos, I will still give you one haluk. <laughs> Are you sure? No, no. Then no haluk and no gakus. Where where is your husband? In 
He's working? Oh, okay. Because usually all the Filipino people say, where is your wife? Where is your wife? Where is your girlfriend? Where is so where is your husband? Where is your husband? Where is your... Phil the Wad. See you later, amigo. Merry Christmas. This is, oh, these are the people that fix the computers? Okay, so we're going back into the store. Now you know. Salamat. Huh? You finished? Oh, look at that. and the Eye of Lucifer, depending on your point of view. Cut. Mr. Obama making a guest appearance. Yell Skull and Bones. And each one of these numbers represents a different concept. Now, are you? the artist, the, the Moritz, the Moritz. Are you ready? Okay, we'll start reading some of this stuff off as soon as I put my glasses on. band there that represents the crystalline nature of the God because if you remember when Moses was on the mount God appeared to Moses as if he was a crystalline nature or like fire light but also this is the part that separates God from the rest of the bill. God would always be elevated above all the rest. Now, the word one, it's a pictograph, so how would you elevate a word? You would elevate it by putting, shadowing it. And at the bottom of the letters, you'll see six, seven individual lines that, that actuant, actuate, accent the word one. But if you look at it from a 60 degree angle, it, it raises the word one higher than any of the other letters. It magnifies it just as a prism acts as a magnifier. 
So it's magnified in three ways. One is it's the biggest lettering on the dollar bill or on any bill ever produced until just recently. That's magnified to the greatest size. But for that series, up until a few years ago, it's the biggest. Second, it's magnified because of the crystalline nature of the structure of the lattice that makes up the word one. It's magnified in that sense also. And then it's magnified because a prism represents light and God is light. Therefore, you have three different types of magnification actually for, if it's only partially so, in sound. Because if the, when you capitalize something, all caps, you make it loud. But then when you make it big capital with shadowing, you make it even louder. Like that E there. Look how loud that E is. Er, e for evil. And it just so happens that the E faces evil. Now, these are the words. We'll eventually get to see all the words in one place. Basically, uh, something created this dollar bill. Thousands of years ago, long before the Bible was written, before the Bible was written. This pictograph associated itself with the words in the Bible. See, I have this theory. My theory is that the Bible was written by an ancient species or race of beings that have controlled this world for millions, if not billions of years. Not thousands, not a few thousand years, but millions, if not billions of years. Do you agree, Sanity Claus? Of course he agrees, look. Santa Claus agrees. Yeah? You were right to Michael Fazio. Something made of the dollar bill and the Bible billions, if not a millions. Millions, if not a billions of years ago. That's right, Michael Fazio. You are correct. And there we have uh, the Commander-in-Chief. If you look at it from this particular attitude, but if you rotate the camera 180 degrees, or if you rotate the dollar bill and invert it, you will see Satan, the great Satan. The great Satan and Satan. There are many versions of evil in the uh, evil seed of death. And the, the greatest evil, of course, is the nuclear detonation. And then you have the god of war, who, who is Obama. And also, he is um, an Indian chief. The first methodology in which to kill people was an Indian, yes? So, go ahead. What? 1,500 foot for both of them? Okay. Okay. Um, and that's what the, you have the, the you have the deposit. You took the deposit off. That lady. I think I gave that gave it to that lady there. Yeah. With that deposit? Uh -huh. You already took it off, the deposit. Okay. You want it right this second? Can you? Can I see the, can I see the bill? Of that right, but 
So, okay, so we have, okay, you, I want to make sure that you charged me for everything. We have yeah. two, 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 two of them. We have the small one, yeah? And the big one, you have the big, you, you, yeah, okay, good, okay, okay. I want to make sure you charge me for everything. Yeah, take one. Take two. Talking about money, huh? The world revolves around money. So these are the various, there is the nuclear detonation right now. That's the eagle. Everything in the evil seed of death is dead. There is no life within the evil seed of death. Up oh, here comes Mr. Obama on the deck of doom. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You thought I would forget Mr. Obama, because he's going to be the last president of the United States of America as opposed to George Washington is the first president and he's on a different post. Chief has the war dress on it. The four beasts of the Book of Revelation are on the dollar bill. Let's see what's on the dollar bill. The wings of the seraphim. The evil seed of death. The nuclear detonation, detonation flash, the evil seeds of death, five beads, first commandment is on the dollar bill. Did you know that? Chain mail, representing night, or, uh, representing a protective agency, golden mercy seat, gold and the word White, 3,000 years ago when the uh, Ark of the Covenant existed with the same word, white and gold were interchangeable. The real hell star is in the book of Revelation, the sea of glass, the throne. Way! This girl taught me how to say way. I'll never forget that. It comes from, here, let me get you, what, can I get you in the video? Huh? Huh? Well, voila? Okay. The four beasts of Revelation, I said that already. This is a really cool machine. Everybody here is really efficient, too. Even when they train people, they actually train people. The people for one month only watch the other people do their job. They don't really participate unless it's, you know, somebody drops a, a glass and they help sweep up the floor in an emergency. But when they train their people, they train their people to watch the job each day they go, or every few days they go to a different Salma. And what is your name again? Jacqueline. Jacqueline? Okay. I remember when I remember when you were being trained. You were brand new. Too much. You were new. Now you are. Now you are the Amu. Yeah. 
the Amumin's boss. Let's take a look at that funny money in the Philippines. This money has no sustenance to it at all compared to a dollar bill. Okay, I have my food behind here. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end this video. Thank you, Maritz. It, it looks beautiful. But um, I want you to make it, just make it one inch bigger. Maritz, just make it one inch bigger. Maritz, very handsome boy. Wow. One inch, yeah, make, that, make it bigger. Take this one as voila. Make one, make it one inch wider. Kamija. One inch, one what should have been one, one, one inch bigger. One inch bigger. Mm. Voila, make it one, one inch wider. <laughs> no, wider, make, th this one is, voila, make it, make it one inch wider. No good, this one. No look at look at my wrist going. Only joking. Comedia, yeah. Comedia, comedia only, Moritz. That's Janet. Michael. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to Michael. Salma. <laughs> and so, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end this video. Bye, bye, amigo. And you. Oh my god, is that yours? Let me see. He's guapo. Yeah, guapo. Okay, give me the gimme. Guapo. Guapo. My tag. And that's mama? Hello. Wow, you had such a Guapo! And you? Guapa! Guapa, guapo! Amigo, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! And Merry Christmas! Okay, so that's where Moritz works. We have the Santa Claus over there. And thanks for watching my crazy videos, ladies and gentlemen. And Merry Christmas to everybody from Michael Fazio. 2014. That's right. Santa Claus. Me and Santa. Wanna, wanna give me a gakus? Sir, how many islands are? I don't know. What do you think? You you leave it. You maybe one every two feet? 18 inches? 10? Ten? Ten? Yeah, okay. Merry Christmas. He's putting in the eyelets now. Is this yours, my dear? Yeah. But she already deducted it. No, no haluk, no gakus. Are you sure? Let's go stand over by Santa Claus, me and you. Come on. No hello. No haluk, no gakus. Come. Merry Christmas. Bali ho. Yeah. Merry Christmas. That's Merry Christmas, my dear. The only, the only, the only girl I know. That's old enough for me to actually talk to. All the rest of them are children. She is cheap, but she looks good for 75 years old. 35, 30, 30. No, 25. 20, 25. 25. Okay, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And God day to everybody. <laughs>